it's Teresa and today I'm introducing you to the brand new Alloy Alcohol Inks. Alcohol Inks is a product that's made for non-porous surfaces and you can create the most amazing backgrounds with these and some mixed media projects too. I'll be showing you throughout the week. Here you can see some of the fabulous blends that you can get with the alcohol inks. Alcohol inks are solvent based so please work in a well ventilated area. Let's look at some of the substrates available from Shortcuts Crafts. First up is the melanin board. It's very similar to the hardcore panel and both are available in store. We have stencil material cut in any shape and size that you want. All these are perfect for alcohol inks, nice and smooth and non-porous. Here we have mirror board. They also stock the Tim Holtz sparkle paper. And this was created specifically for alcohol inks, so it looks amazing with your inks. And then one of the best is Upo paper, and it's basically a plastic paper, and the alcohol inks move amazingly well on top of these. So first things first, let me show you the difference between a mixative and an alloy. Yes, both of them are metallics, but they are completely different and behave completely different. You have to shake them extremely well. When you think you've shook them enough, shook them some more. Mixatives were designed to mix into your alcohol inks and you will see them go into the ink and get all cloudy inside the ink where your alloy is a leafing metallic and it sits on top of the ink and even if it's dry and you add more ink on top it will pop right back to the top of the ink so it was made to drift on top of your ink. To demonstrate the difference I am going to work with just one color ink it's willow I'm working on Upo paper I'm putting a little bit of blending solution down it's quite important you need that for the inks to move quite well on the left hand side I've added the mixative now the minute I put it in you'll see it does not work itself through the ink like even an, another ink on top of the ink would it doesn't run as much and the minute you put the alloy on like you see on the left hand side it just runs with the ink so your mixatives don't move as much your alloys move really well and then when i added more blending solution i started spraying with an air gun now you can definitely use the very very fancy hand blower i don't have one of those but you it's the same thing you will see that when i blow the air on it the alloys move and dance across the surface of the inks where the mixative just worked itself into the ink it's like little clouds of metallic that works itself into the ink so it does not move as much and it does it doesn't have that pop of metallic where the alloys is like a foil it's like they call it a leafing metallic so it sits on top it's almost like a foiling effect it's amazing and it's a lot more shimmery metallic than what the mixatives are that said, there is definitely space for both of them in the world of alcohol inks. I really hope you have a better understanding now of the alloys versus the mixatives. Stay tuned for more demo videos.